The next pattern we would be looking at is the facade pattern. The definition of the facade pattern says a single class that represents an entire subsystem. Let's take the example of an event manager. I want to organize an event. What I would do is I would talk to an event manager and tell him I need this kind of decoration. I need this kind of food. I would need to send invitations to all these people. This is the kind of music I would want to arrange. And the event managers would take care of everything for me. So these event managers are very good examples of facades. So anytime I want to talk, do something, I would talk to the event manager and the event manager would organize that for me. Similarly, when we are talking about a distributed system, you would have the need for multiple calls across layers. For example, I'm, let's take the example of an online book order. So if I'm making an order, there are a lot of things that we need to do. First thing is we have to check whether there is stock and then reserve the book. The next thing is we have to make the payment, update the stock and generate the invoice. So if the client interface has to handle all of these individually, there will be a multiple set of calls which would be going on and in and out. So rather than that, what we would do is we would create a single facade, I mean single interface which would handle everything. So the client would give the give all the inputs to this facade and the facade would take care of making all the calls for us. The advantages of the facade are that you would reduce the amount of network calls and also you would reduce coupling. So how the facade works is separated out. So the facade, ca as, long, as long as the interface remains the same, the internal details of the facade can keep changing. And also, one more important thing is the facade kinds of represents the transactional boundary. So if you are technical and if you understand transaction management, some of the times facades or services are good places to implement transaction management around. So that's your facade pattern. Thanks for joining more than a million students who are learning from us. At In 28 Minutes, we defined a learning roadmap for Java and front-end developers. We created more than 25 courses covering all the topics that you are seeing on the screen. There are four things you can do to make best use of these courses. Number one is Udemy. You will find a link in the description of the video to our Udemy profile. We are teaching a lot of courses on Udemy and most of them are free. Number two, visit our website www.in28minutes.com. You would find tons of information including how you can register for our trainings and the link to Udemy and our GitHub code as well. Number three, visit our GitHub repository. With more than 20 repositories covering varied examples, it's a comprehensive source of information and code. Last but not the least, you'll find a set of discount codes for all our Udemy courses in the description as well. Feel free to use them. Good luck from the team here at In28Minutes, your destination for high quality step-by-step -step courses.